Milton did almost everything it could, at least in the form of a couple of blizzards, to slow me down, but Hush River Valley is on the other side of this cave, which means the endgame of Against All Odds Season 5 is here at long last. Hey there, Legion, it's Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. So yeah, we're going to step down into this here cave, which, um, like I said, I'm going to look for coal while I'm making my way through. There's one piece already, thankfully. And as I mentioned in the last episode, apparently somewhere in one of the caves, I think it's in one of the ice caves, though, in... I'll grab a few sticks just in case I need them. I think it's in one of the ice caves in Hush River Valley. Somewhere there is a cave with a wolf. Like Fluffy and Scruffy and all their friends before them. I'm just kidding. That's... Those are the only wolves in the game, right now. And, by the way, if you missed it, Fluffy is indeed... I'm picking up lots of firewood at the moment, more than I need, but I'm gonna... I'll, I'll do an inventory assessment at the end of the cave. For now, I'm just making my way through. But yeah, if you missed it, the uh, patch... No, or not the patch notes, but the developer diary for the December update, the first developer diary, kind of a teaser, um, they're slowly pulling back the curtain on this December update, and, um, if you missed it, Fluffy is supposedly in some form coming back that they're not fully revealing the details of. They're kind of being dodgy about it. But, um, we don't know whether Fluffy will return to the dam where she originally lived, or if she will be in another zone. There is also a new region coming, so... All the more reason to explore. Oh, hey, we're at the end. Nice. All right, well, in that case, hang on. drop half my sticks because I uh, I'm sure I'll find more in the most desolate zone in the game there is no there, there are no human constructs in Hush River Valley of any kind any shelter that I find I will make or I will be using okay or I'll be using caves hoping for some more cattails though <laughs> that would be nice we can kill just about anything for food at this point. Yeah, I'm weighed down mainly by the coal that I found. I did find one piece of wood. I suppose I can drop the reclaimed wood. And I might be able to get away with... Let's do a quick cloth repair here. Of our long johns. And how much does that help us exactly? Uh, not a lot. I'm only going to do that one repair then. Okay, and let's eat a few of these. Part of the problem is that I am kind of tired. How much time is left in the day? Not a lot, actually. So I'm going to spend. Prefer enough to go into this zone encumbered. It's mainly tools that are causing that issue. I did pick up an extra flare, which is most likely not necessary, so I'll redrop that. Don't need that scrap metal, I'll drop that. Got some bandages. Did I just hear a growl? That's only a little bit terrifying. Okay. And of course I do have lots of uh, medical teas of different kinds on me. So, I could always drink one of these to top off my thirst and my hunger a little bit. So I'll do that. And the rest bonus should linger until I actually need to rest, hypothetically speaking. Hello, Hushed River Valley. Interesting rust color on the rocks. The only time that I've randomly spawned in this zone, as I've mentioned to you guys in the past... The only time is when it's been at night, so... Apart from seeing other people play in Hush River Valley briefly... I haven't seen a lot of these, uh, kind of rust-colored... ...rock patterns. Alright, so I, I want to kind of keep my bearings so I can find my way back to that cave if I need to. Looks like I'm a bit... I'm in a bit of a ravine at the moment. Let's, um... Go clockwise, so I'm going to go left first, and then maybe come back and go straight later, depending on where this leads. 
And of course the wind is blowing in my face, because why wouldn't it? But if I have to turn around and come back to the cave, then it'll help me out. <laughs> or at least it won't hurt me. Let's not get a sprain as we walk into Hush River Valley for the first time. Alright, so there's a potential cattail harvesting location. I'm going to make my way down that way. I see bunnies, more than one. That's a reassuring sign that there might not be wolves nearby. So yeah, what I may do... Okay. What I may do is kind of harvest this area for sticks. And then go back to that cave, make a fire, make some water, and have more of the things I need to survive. The question is, are there cattails here? I think I saw at least one, unless my eyes were tricking me, which... Yep, there's, there it is. I knew I saw one. Oh, I get it now. Okay, so... Several episodes back, I remember a couple of people were like, dude, stop picking up the cattail heads. You don't you don't need them anymore. I haven't been picking them up for a long time. I do a left click, right click whenever I harvest a cattail head now. But it still says at the top that I harvested a cattail head. So people were seeing that and probably thinking, what's this guy doing? I don't understand. He shouldn't be picking up the cattail heads. Well, I wasn't. The game was making it look like I was, but I wasn't. Okay. No more. No more. Subtle Doctor Who references for the win. Uh, no more cattails here. I saw some reishi mushrooms. I do need some sticks. I think I dropped some wood back near the entrance to that cave, so... That's because you can't, my dear. You are past your limit. Partially because you're just tired. So there are no, um, there might be a limb that I can, I might have walked by a limb that I can break down, but for now I'm just going to get these sticks. Again, in the cave I won't need a fire for the whole night, but I just need enough fire to, um, to make some water. And then food-wise, how am I doing? Mmm, not great. Might need to kill me one of these bunnies on my way back up. I can always kill both of them. Okay, there's one. Hopefully a big one. I didn't see how heavy it was, but we'll find out. Did I really miss? You're kidding me. Okay. We'll wait for you to get a little closer then. Revolver is really not the sniper that it once was. I missed again. Really? Yeah, they, they definitely tweaked. They might have also, I've heard from watching Athene on a good bit, they've tweaked the hitbox on rabbits again, so maybe that's part of it. Okay, he's broadside a little bit, which could make this a little easier. You are shitting me. <laughs> oh man, they really did make them harder to hit, didn't they? Got him. Yeah, broadside, I guess, is the better way to do that. Okay, so got a couple of rabbit carcasses. So we're plenty stinky now, I don't want to piss off any of the neighborhood wolves, but I'm going to go back up to the cave entrance, and we'll cook those guys for food. This is me making sure I still have my cooking pot. After all that trouble, I don't want to leave it behind again. For all, I, for all of the jokes that I make about leaving my bedroll behind or anything like that. I'm, I'm pretty good, for the most part, about not, you know, about gathering my things before I go places, partly because I am so paranoid about it. But I think what happened with the cooking pot is because I have so many fewer hours of playtime with the new cooking mechanics and the, you know, the, 
uh, the cans that you can set down, the recycled cans and the cooking pots. That's one thing that I'm, like my mental heuristics don't, uh, don't tell me, my kind of instincts and habits don't tell me, hey, grab your, grab your cooking pot before you go, because I'm not used to needing those. All right, so there's a few more sticks that I'm going to grab. Believe me, I know, I, I just want to, uh, I want to do the exact same thing you guys are thinking right now, and I just want to, like, launch out into the zone and explore, but I don't want to do so when my buffs are at risk. Particularly my well-fed buff. That's the one that I don't want to lose. So I'm going to play it safe, cook some meat, fill myself up a little bit, and then hopefully, like I said, we'll find something that we can kill to keep us going a little bit farther into the zone. What would be hilarious, and this is probably going to happen, what would be hilarious is if another blizzard came out <laughs> at this exact moment. All right, so this is the, again, this is where we just came in. We'll make a, a fire just on the inside here. Oh, still have one piece of cedar firewood that I picked up. Forgot about that. That's handy. Very, very nice indeed. Lots of sticks. Copious amounts of sticks. We have eight coal. I'm probably going to keep all that coal on me. Okay, so. Nice. Two pretty heavy bunnies. That's what I wanted to see. Now, I could also go ahead and just fully harvest these guys. I think what I'll do for now is just harvest the meat. And I could leave the... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the stuff cure in here so that I can come back and have some guts and hides at the entry location to the zone. It'll mean backtracking a little bit, but that's okay. I'm, 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 uh, I'm okay with that. Yeah, two hefty bunnies. I like it. So what I'm gonna do is harvest those guys while their meat is cooking on the fire. Of course, there are two very small pieces of meat in addition to that. That's one of the downsides of killing the bunnies is that, you know, you don't... When you harvest their meat, uh, you know, you can always... Well, what am I, what am I, what am I trying to say? I guess it's also true when you kill a deer or kill a wolf, but, I mean, it's just really one chunk of meat as opposed to being able to get, like, eight or nine or ten off of a kill of a larger animal. And so you can kind of say, well, I'm not going to harvest all of it because I don't want to have the little tiny pieces. When you kill a rabbit, it's not quite the same. So, okay, let's go ahead and harvest. Take 32 minutes for this guy. And there's the rabbit meat. Let's eat that. Oh, wow. Not even going to help us all that much, to tell you the truth. But it's enough to get us going into the zone a little bit more. Okay, 32 minutes on that guy. What makes me sad is there weren't more cattails at that pond. That was an entire area where I was like, oh man, cattails, they'll be everywhere here. But no, no such luck. So with those things curing, I only have 1245 calories. I've got a good amount of water on me right now. I should probably take advantage of the fact that I have this fire and make a little bit more. That's what I'll do. Let's... Do 
that. And then I can, I suppose, go ahead and cook the last few pieces of rabbit meat. The caloric value on these, <laughs> used that, haven't used that phrase in a while. The caloric value is not going to be particularly great. Right, let's drink what I've got here. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. But at least cooking it will give me a few more calories than was listed because of my cooking skill. There's that, at least. Yeah, 31 calories. It's, it's next to nothing. I'll take it, but it's next to nothing. Didn't even see how many that was. Don't care. Okay. Now we have 54 minutes, 54 minutes left on the fire. We are plenty warm in here regardless. So I am going to... There we go plop this thing down here, and we're just going to rest through the night. Let's see. Let's fully top that off. I could also drink, I have teas that I can drink to help with my hunger, and that would also reduce my encumbrance a little bit, so there's that, at least. I'm pretty damn tired, so I'm hoping that this kind of just gets me through the whole night in one fell swoop. Let's sleep for 11 hours. We're not going to get 11 hours sleep, but I'm hoping that this chunk is enough to get me to the dawn, or at least the beginning of the dawn. Yeah, then yet another blizzard. I knew that was going to happen. It's so funny. The game is trolling me so hard right now. Like, you will not explore Hushed River Valley. But at least it's the, like the beginning of the day still right now. And I'm going to go ahead and eat these cattails to keep myself from starving a little bit. And like I said, I can drink some teas if needed, but we officially are at a point where we're going to need to hunt to survive. Nice and fun. Hopefully not waste that many uh, revolver bullets trying to kill rabbits next time. That was ridiculous. Not a fan. Not a fan whatsoever. Okay, well, we don't have any light with which to repair things. My snow pants are getting to a point where if I repaired both, I'd probably get a decent bonus from having them maxed out, but let's see. Yeah, fully rested. I'm hoping this storm is almost over, so tell you what, let's just pass time for an hour, and that will give us the dawn. Let's pick up the bearskin bedroll. Of course, now we're encumbered. Because we can't have nice things. Sadly. So I guess what I will do, part of the encumbrance that I'm suffering from right now is the extra coal that I picked up. That's mainly it. And then just some of the additional supplies. I have three stems on me. I have, like I said, those medical teas that I can consume. Not just yet, though, but I, I, I can do that. Tell you what, let's, let's just keep repairing things because it's also, again, the cloth and we need to pass some time. How's my hunger looking? Not good. I need to uh, get moving soon. That blizzard is not coming at a good time. Hoping for a prop deer relatively close to our current location. Okay, good. I no longer hear the storm outside. Alright, so that gave me 0.3 degrees. From 94 to 100. That's the advantage of having two of the same item. You can see exactly how much the full repair helps, if you haven't noticed that from what I've been doing. But let's, um... Alright, so those things are sitting there curing. Oh, they're already a decent bit of the way through. But let's, let's step outside. Let's see, let's see what Hush River Valley actually looks like before we end this episode. Oh, this looks lovely. All right, so I'm, I don't think that I fully explored everywhere I could have gone off to the left, but I'm going to go straight now because part of me wants to see if I can find a prop deer. It was like four degrees. Ironically, I'm somehow not... Okay, I am blocked from the wind. I was about to say, how am I not blocked from this wind right now? That's ridiculous. 
But then I found out that I was and everything was okay. Tell you what, let's go ahead and drink a... I'll drink a reishi tea. For those calories. Are we really still encumbered? Is it the coal? Do I still have wood on me? I guess I do have the extra sticks. I should have. I guess I should have dropped the sticks back in the cave, but I'm hoping that I'll find another cave. So it's in increasing my calorie burn a little bit right now, but I'm just, I'm going to roll with it. I'm reasonably confident that I'll find something to shoot before I run out of my well-fed buff. We've made it this far, so even if I lose it, it's not going to be the end of the world. I really wish... Maybe, maybe Hush River Valley is one of the stormier... I know it's supposed to be the most punishing zone in that there's no shelter, but is the weather also miserable? Is this place as miserable as Pleasant Valley? Or, did I, or is the game just trolling me right now? That's, that's what I'm trying to figure out. So that seems to be an area that I can go down. Let me first go to the left here. It seems like the wind might be calming down a bit. Still feels like 5 degrees. Or the wind's not coming down, but it seems like there's the, the flurries are decreasing. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, can't linger. Can't linger. I'm actually more concerned about my hunger at the moment than I am about my temperature. That is a problem need to find something to kill. Or a cattail pond. I'll take that too. Or a cave with a wolf in it that I can shoot in the face. Any of the above, I will take. Okay, it looks like a log bridge up here. Yeah, flurries are gone now. Still windy as hell. Okay, I thought that was a bunny up there, but that's not. That is a bear, though. I mean, we could we could kill a bear for some meat. The question is, what I would prefer to do is see if I can spot an area where I can duck into a cave and like, or or even just a safe spot and cook something. You know, I'm gonna go this way first. Try and stay on the high ground to avoid Mr. Bear. I hate that I found so few cattails at that pond. I was really expecting more. And just to remind those of you who... That's a climbing rope. Interesting. I don't know that I want to climb a climbing rope right now. I don't have the calories to, to justify exerting myself that much. Oh, wow. That leads from, from down there. Okay. I'm going to stay on the higher ground for now. So it seems like there's kind of a... A high ridge here over the lower sections of the zone. But yeah, for those of you who right about now. might have, or who might just be jumping in for the first time, like at this point in the series, I have not been to Hush River Valley before. This is me exploring it for the first time. I've only randomly spawned in here a few times. Oh, hello. Hang on. This is interesting doesn't seem to go anywhere. Oh, hey! Hey, prop deer! Perfect! Okay. Now... All right. Tin of sardines. Wait. Cold. I don't need the can opener. I will take that bar. The sardines are in shit condition. We are not eating those. It's a burned out campfire, and we are not protected from the wind up here, so I will not be cooking right there. But... This here prop deer will be enough to bolster my, uh... Hang on. What do I have on... Yeah, I've, I've got enough to, to, justify, to, to justify cooking this guy. So, 13 minutes. I can use... 7 minutes if I use the hatchet. I don't want to lose a lot of condition to how cold I am at the moment. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. You can, in fact. Alright. So let's see if I can start a fire right... 
here. Too sloped. Oh, wait. Nope, 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 nope. All right, cross your fingers that this fire stays free of the wind long enough for me to cook this deer meat. It's one solid deer steak, but this will definitely boost my calorimeter up on, to a safer point. And also I have that, that candy bar that I haven't eaten yet. That's handy. Perfect. Keep a few sticks on me. Thirty-seven minutes till ready. Again, cross yo fingers. All right, we got. Um, see, we're not encumbered anymore either, which is nice. It's the sticks that I just used. Lovely welcome from Hush River Valley here. But I'm glad I found the prop deer. Let's. Um, oh, good. We're actually warming up too. So if I pass some time, tell you what. Let me toss one piece of coal on this fire just so I have the additional heat that'll help me warm up even more. Because I have no guarantee that when I step away from this fire, I won't be stepping right back into the cold. If the wind dies down, then we'll be okay. But, all right, 30 minutes. What can I do while that's cooking? I can repair these snow pants. Oh, okay, that didn't even help me that much. I'm still below half on my stomach, but that's a lot better than I came up here with. So, feels like 78 degrees at the moment. I am plenty warm again, thankfully. Two hours left on the fire. See, part of me wants to harvest that deer too, but I, I don't know if I'm near a cave. So what I might do is look for a cave first, as I was saying a moment ago, and... Um, and see what I can come up with. But for now, I will stop this episode here. In the next one, I am, like I said, going to see if I can find shelter with which to kind of strike out and, and grab nearby hides and have things that can be curing for my time in this zone, which I can use to repair my uh, my things. I don't really need to repair my deer skin at the moment, but it'll be nice. This new music? I don't know that I've heard this track. Cool. I'm trying to end an episode here. That's kind of rude. Oh, I like this a lot. I might have heard this once or twice, but it's definitely a new track. That's another thing that's coming in the Errant Pilgrim update, is we have new uh, new music coming to the game. More soundtrack additions. I cannot wait, because this composer is just brilliant. And hopefully we'll have a few nice, long, pretty ones, like the ones that I enjoy so much, um, so many times during these series uh, with you guys. But anyway, I'll stop this episode here. Like I said, we're going to uh, spend some time in the next one looking around for some for some deer, uh, for some rabbits, for really anything that we can kill and harvest for meat, but also leave some hides in a cave that we locate. So two things to find, and uh, we might find the cave with the wolf in it. Who knows? We also have a bear down uh, not too far away from us, so got to keep an eye on that too. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.